Hello there. Welcome to the lands of Akathen. No professionals, no fancy tech, just a group of women playing an all-original game of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm Jeff, your Game Master, and here's what happened last time. Gwen and the Four, accompanied by Gwen's grandfather, Theo, went to visit Gwen's uncle, Renaud, at his store. Renaud, upon hearing of their plans to go to the Temple of Jagravana, offered them a magical item he purchased from one of their caravans. This turned out to be a calandral stick with a teleport spell in it. Upon hearing what goes into the making of a calandral stick, Renaud asked the four to please take it out of his shop. He also offered them a flame tongue longsword, but no one had use for it. The group then headed to the Delirious Traveler for a drink and to rest while Arabelle went to visit Chief Tef to tend to his injured ankle. After the group had dinner at the Traveler with Theo and Gwen asked him to look after Emberheart while they're traveling the desert, they set out on their mission. With Gwen and Zorith on Starbolt and Arabelle and Tasha on Gwen's giant owl, the group headed off into the nighttime desert sky. Gwen and Zorath stopped to investigate the remains of a ship sticking out of the sands, only to uncover what appeared to be some sort of airship. Tasha's subsequent legend lore spell revealed that this was a ship that sailed the stars and crashed into the desert. This appears to have happened many, many years ago. After traveling further through the desert, the group spotted a rocky plateau amidst the sand and decided to stop there for the night, with Gwen erasing all sign of their presence, even before everyone closed themselves up in Tasha's magnificent mansion for the evening. And that's where we pick up. So, the first question I have for you all is, are there things you want to do in the evening, or would you prefer to just fast forward to the next day as you're heading out. I'm okay with fast forwarding. Hmm? Yeah, fast forwarding sounds good. Okay. Make sure you're unmuted. Yes. All right. After a pleasant evening in the mansion, a good night's sleep, uh, everyone, yes, long rest for everyone. Um, everyone awakens eats and gets ready to depart the next morning. Evening. Well, evening, right. Yeah, that's true, huh? Sorry. Okay. So, um, you are in the mansion, ready to go. Over to you. All right, same configuration. Same oh. configuration, we'll travel ahead. Mm, it won't work. Why? Why? How long does the owl have to The wait? owl has to recharge for two days. Two oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, well then. No. I guess he was waiting with that in his pocket. He and was. He will follow on the carpet. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that will slow your travel even more because the carpet max speed is, what, 30? 30. So. We're going to have those air elemental pushes. <laughs> We can, we can throw a rope to you and uh, have Star Bolt pull <laughs> Get air surfing back there. <laughs> air surfing? Would that give them additional speed? We would fall off. Yeah, because there's nothing to really attach the rope to on the rug. Yeah, just the people. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> well... We'll just have to let you go a little bit ahead and trust that you will not get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Have you met us? I mean, you... No, wait a minute. Who is using the carpet? It would be you and me. So who's in charge of piloting? Her. If it's deck space, it's not fair about... <laughs> right, but... Does that mean that the other two are on your horse? Yeah, that's, that's what we, what did, we did last okay. time. Okay. I'm just looking to see if we have any other options. Mm. 
I don't think so. He didn't bring it. We should have called the finds me a druid. <laughs> well, I think their, sh their shifting only lasts an hour. Oh. We can do it a bunch of times, folks. Well, you saw your spells. Thank you. Is it a spell or is it a diamond? It's an ability. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alright, well, that's the best we have, right? I think so. Okay. Well, you begin just after sunset. Hmm. Uh, Gwen Lauren, are you going to cast Pass Without Trace for the first hour again? Yes. Okay. It's five by eight, isn't it? The five uh, by seven. Five, five by seven. Five. Okay, yeah. So we actually got forty. Oh, oh okay. Better. Smaller ones go faster, but yeah. Oh, you then know. Yeah, three by five. It goes eighty. Jesus, that's a little tiny. You don't want to be like holding on to each other. Yeah. It goes to your spoken directions, actually. So we have to really. So you have my shield again. That's the shield. Okay. Oh, let me go with you. Yes. How fast does the horse go? 90. 80. Or 80? 80. 80. So the horse is 80. going 80. half speed. 90, you're right. Sorry. Yeah. A less, little less than half speed. I thought it was 90. You can go a little faster because we'll just catch up if they stop. Okay. Um, how much, how much distance is there between the front group and the back group? Less, Less a than mile. a mile, right? That means that they are not covered by Pass Without Trace. Well, yeah. But they are flying, so. I think it'll get the perfect two. Why did you before Jake the perfect two? You usually have it. I do, but I gave it to someone. I thought. Maybe not. I think you have it. I think I have it. I have it. I'm well, sure I do. <laughs> Arabelle and Tasha have it now. No, I know. I just... Um, okay, I'm sorry. Figure out where it was. Yeah, no, it's... Alright. Okay. Uh... Uh, Gwen and Zorith, if you would give me your first, uh, perception check. Eighteen. What is it? Perception. Do you, do you still have the, um, shield? shield? Twenty-four. Does that help both of us, or just... Does that help both of us, right? No, just whoever's just holding it. it. Okay. Me. I got a twenty-four, though. Okay. okay. Um, Zorith, although it's beyond the range of your dark vision, there's still enough dusk light left for you to see. There appears to be a, some sort of skirmish. Oh, uh, okay, I tell her that. And pull the carpet down. Or have. Because he can. He understands us. He just doesn't yes. talk back. So. Correct. Please pause. And then I tell Gwen. And then I uh, would. I guess. Uh, how, how far away are we from the thing? Well, how high up are you traveling? You almost not see that. I know how much I like, but. Um, I have to think. Four stories you can see us. Five stories. Fifty feet. Okay. Fifty feet, maybe. Yeah. Does that sound good, Gwen? Fifty feet. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm gonna ask her. Should we wait for them to catch up? Because they can't see us, right? Yes. Correct. The people yeah. that 
find the bomb cannot see us, correct? You have no idea. We can't see the bomb. Oh, wait. Um, so, asking Gwen, should we just let them catch up to us? And then regroup? Or do we want to keep looking ahead? I, I think if the skirmish doesn't involve us, we should just... And it, and it doesn't, yeah, just let's skirt it. But what if it's John Ronan that we need then? Well, okay. both of you make a second perception check now that you're directing your attention specifically toward the skirmish. Um, 21. Oh, I was going to say 14, 7, 21 also. Okay. You're sort of squinting at this distance and, and, and trying oh. to see, but um, oh. it doesn't look like humans. You're catching, then. you're catching glimpses of grayish blue and glimpses of dull orange. Could be dragons. I mean, would we be able to tell if it's dragons? It's not. Okay. It's not. These are bipedal figures. Can we drop to 35 feet and see if we can get a better view? Oh, I I pull out my spyglass. That would also be oh, there you go. a good option. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Make, make, glass, make another perception check with the spyglass. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, 21. Uh, through the spyglass, it becomes very clear. It's a decent-sized group of kobolds attacking an equally decent-sized group of goblins. So, evil versus evil? We can just probably... Yeah. Uh, so, huh? Not our, not our problem. So yeah. I'm going to spell, um, I'm going to spell all of us in the greater sending. I'm going to spell all of us. All, all we have to do is tell Starbolt. I'm going to tell Starbolt. <laughs> Save your spell points. Just Sorry, tell. I forgot. Well, I couldn't remember. Yeah, I can remember how we did it the other day. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, I'm going to tell Starbolt. Uh, Gwen and I see a bunch of kobolds and goblins fighting in our... So we're going to... And then, like, maybe 5% trajectory difference kind of thing. Because otherwise, you know... But then... Make sure he tells the other group so that they also go around and aren't spotted because they don't have pass without trace like we do. Right, no, that, yeah. So, like, because... So, question. Um, we orient from a star to fix our position as we go, and then so do they, so that they would be following behind us, lined up percentage-wise with the clock on the... Like, okay. So, like, carpet, star, two o'clock. So, like, okay. So, then if we're going two o'clock with uh, Starbolt, then they're also going two o'clock with the carpet. So, then, like, we need to, like, scoot over so that they're not going the same way, right? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, we need to, or well, we'll... I understand what you mean. I direct the carpet to turn the direction ahead. Right. So, <laughs> that, so that we right. skirt past. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. Okay. Is that a thing that can be done to yeah, That's my. That was kind of my question. It's like... Yeah. Okay. And then... If your plan is to just sort of like circle around them and then get back on the course that you were on... Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count the time it takes us to get around them for like seconds. Like, you know, here we, I can see them at our, you know, at our... Or seven o'clock, and early, like, you know, or whatever, eleven, and then by the time it takes to get back to six, I'll count and 
have Starbolt tell them so that they can kind of get back on the same sitch. Sorry, my brain is so weird about dumb things. Like, that is it's a major thing for them to follow us, correct? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that and, and Arabelle, can you sense where Starbolt is? It just says we can tell if, uh, communicate telepathically. I mean, I probably could with, like, locate, but I'm not. Okay. It says... Well, the mount is within one mile of you. You can communicate with it telepathically. Mm. I mean, we're bonded, but I, I wouldn't think I could just decide to send him okay. on. I think I would know if he was uh, wounded enough that he disappeared. I would probably know, right, that he's gone, because it wouldn't send him. Right. Um, since we're not in combat, I'm not, I'm not in control of him right now. I mean, I could direct him, but I'm not, because I can see him. Okay. All right. You make your course corrections and continue on through the desert. We also go back up once we've skirted. Okay. So noted. Um, I have a question now, I know. <laughs> um, the moon is ever so slightly wider. Tonight, obviously, it's coming out of a new moon, so it's the sliver is just a little bit bigger. So there's just the tiniest bit more light. More light, okay. Yes. Um, all right. Uh, Zoroth and Gwen, next perception check, please. Okay. Come back. Oops. <laughs> 27. Glad you got something good. I got a 3 and a 2, so I got 10. Oh, alright. Well, Zora... Oh, 3 and a 2. 3 and a 2, yes. Yeah, yeah. You are focused on scanning the desert. Gwen mm -hmm. happens to take a moment to uh, sort of look up and around. And momentarily, something blots out the moon. Is it that stupid thing from the last time? Something. A big something? It's a rock. Big enough to block out the moon for a second. How close is it to us? You have no idea. I... When it's not in front of the moon, you can't see it. I pull on Starbolt's reins to bring him to a stop. Okay. He's oh. just hovering in midair. Tell me, what, what was that? Did you see something? I did, and I explain. Mm-hmm, okay. Now, well, I'm going to, like, search the skies with my thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, make a perception check. 16, I have 91. I'm looking too without anything, right. obviously. Um, perception. Uh, 23. No, 20. I got a 14. Oh, 16. Oh, okay, 16. 16 and 7. 23! Right, okay, yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for mapping from Bell Race. <laughs> um. When did you roll again? Oh, I didn't know if yeah, I was please. supposed to. Um. Because now you're looking for something specific. 29. Hmm. Zorath, you don't see anything. Gwen, you don't see anything either. But you hear... What is that? Just a, like a whisper? Sound of something like air passing quickly over something near you. Uh-oh. Um, and my dark vision isn't picking up. Must be out of range. Mm. All right, so I use primeval awareness. Mm. All 
right? I stretch out with my senses. Stretch out with your feelings. Um... Should detect within a six mile radius. Yep. You are... Uh, getting sporadic, you know, you, 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 a couple uh, surges of elemental energy way out. Um, some undead. Nowhere near you. And dragon! Almost in your face. Okay. And I can't tell anything about the kind of dragon no, or... You just get dragon. So I tell Zuri and Starvolt there's a dragon nearby. Do we go to ground? Do we... So that we have a place to fight from? Uh, or, you know... I think we should, I think we should land mm -hmm. and wait for the others. Mm hmm So... You hear a, a voice from like, somewhere. Mm. A stringy horse. And two... Stringy people. That's barely a mouthful. We both hear it? Yeah. And Starbolt, and Starbolt immediately, like, looks around to try and define where the voice is coming from. So we uh, already got the dragon message, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I assume Starbolt's telling you everything that's happening. Mm-hmm. Go, um, go to ground. Go to ground, I guess, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, let's... Stay where we are. I don't think it's going to make a difference if it attacks us. I'll drop Pass Without Trace. And say... Wait. Good evening. Oh. Fellow traveler. Mm-hmm. Oh, look. My snack speaks. Hmm. Um. Will it still be speaking when I'm crunching bone? I, I speak draconic! At it! <laughs> oh, maybe that's not a good idea. No, it's a great idea. Go for it. Maybe something, think twice before you make us enemies? Don't it. Don't, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, after, after, um, scrounging the desert for delicious snacks. These, these are not delicious. We are not delicious. All meat is delicious. <laughs> they said all meat is delicious. <laughs> I got a 19. I'm trying persuasion. Oh. <laughs> what <do you> mean? <laughs> okay. Hmm? And it says what it says. Oh, still it says all meat is delicious? Mm hmm. Oh boy. How soon till we get there? I'm looking that up right now. So we are on the ground, right? Or are we still in the air? Air. Slightly, slightly faster than the dragon, but I need to free enough to catch you. And Starbolt's fast, but... Right. You're close enough that I can't see this. That is a beautiful dragon. Some nice dragons wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, no, they wouldn't be snacking on people. Uh, I say, we're familiar with many sets of dragon. Which sept are you from? Okay, no one. Metal friends. Metal friends? You speak of sept. That's we are. The metallics. 
We are. Accept. Oh shit. Then I will I don't know why I let her. extra hard. <laughs> and oh, no. out of the sky. Yep. Straight at you. Yeah. Alright, so I a very large blue dragon. I pull the I reins. Need everyone to roll initiative. Okay. Do you want us to go ahead and roll now? You're not gonna get there before this fight's over, one way or another. We're not that far. If they're stuck. If they're a, if you're a mile away, that's seventeen and a half minutes. But we of start. Travel. Okay, so seventeen minutes. So basically, a hundred and seventy rounds. Is a mile. Okay. At 30. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but I control Starbolt, so should I roll an ish for him? Yes. Gwen, what did you get for Nish? I got... 34. Math is hard. Alright. 34. <laughs> what did Starbolt get? Four! Four! <laughs> yeah, okay. And Zorith? I'm counting! <laughs> 21! 21. All right. Well, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Gwen, <laughs> you're up. Um, do I have what do I have in my ring? Speak to the animals. You didn't switch it out? It's teleport circle, I think, but you don't have time to draw it. Uh -uh. Right. But I do have instant if you want me to. That's what I was thinking. But if you can get all of us, do you have to wait for your turn for that? Yes. Mm -hmm. However we do, however we do. Um, well, I'm going to... If I can't get you guys, so... No, that's fine. I'm going to, um... Mm -mm. I didn't either. I didn't want that, but... I didn't... Yeah, I just didn't go that I'll hedge my bets. I will cast Rope Trick. Okay. And I have movement as well, right? Um, you could climb the rope. So I otherwise will... the movement is starbolt because you're still right, here. right. So I grab Zori and. With her on my back, I climb the rope. All right, that's going to take an athletics check. Twenty-seven. Okay. I'm telling what you guys do. And I'm, I'm telling Starbolt, run, flee, as fast as you can. I'm going, not live, but I am assisting her and like doing the thing. Once I see her do it, I will. Like, if she grabs me, I will <laughs> grab back and not, like, spaghetti move a lot of her arms. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I knew I kept that spell around for something. Woo! 
Um, let's see. Before, um, before I throw Zori into the door of, for Rope Trick and pull myself through, I think, well, I guess, you know, I, Starbolt's already gone, so yeah. I yeah. can't, I can't tell them anything. Nope. Starbolt hasn't left because he doesn't go till four. Right. Oh, well then I, I say to Starbolt, tell them Rope Trick, and then I jump inside. Okay. All right. Um, Arabelle, Starbolt needs to make a deck save. Hmm. Starbolt did not succeed. <laughs> I don't like these dice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Starbolt takes 70 points of lightning damage. 7-0. Okay. Um, and Zorith? You have your turn. Get on the rope. I, we should be inside the extra dimensional space. Right. Oh. Uh, 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 okay, what are we gonna do? I mean, like, holy crap! Holy crap is right. Um, the oh, rope is, the rope is still hanging out. Oh. I pull, yeah. Well, I mean, okay, so part of the knowing how to use our equipment would fulfill that, but because right. we don't know how to do that. Well, but Gwen would not have had time to pull the rope in. Then that's what I will do. Else. Okay. Yes, that's okay. what I will do. All right. Unfortunately, the dragon saw. Um. Well, yes, the dragon saw. But uh, Starbolt was disintegrated before he had time to send anything to Arabelle or Tasha. But wasn't that on my turn? That's on Starbolt's turn. You told oh. Starbolt on your turn. But okay. Starbolt's but turn. Yes. And I now know that Starbolt is no longer communicating with me. Yep. Yeah. So, so they're I freaking out. Tasha, the dragon destroyed Starbolt. Can you message Zori and see if they're okay? Sending. Um, but I would say yeah. message. So if I'm dragging the things, you pull the rod. Will, what? You pulled the rope in. That's is, your. Is that my action? Yes. Can you but, also? Yeah, like well, cast quicken. I don't know how that works. Yeah, you could quicken and cast something. Okay, right, because I'm doing that, and I feel like yeah, as a bonus action, I would quicken and. Will greater sending work from within an interdimensional space? We send from the mansion, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you, you'll need to roll percentile because there yeah. is a slight chance that it won't work. Percentile. Okay, so I will roll my percentiles. Double aughts and a five. Okay. What are you sending? Well, that's five percent. Zorath is sending okay. on on as part of her turn. So oh oh, <laughs> my mistake. I was like, okay, okay, sorry, please. Oh. I'm sorry. I am going to. I need to count. Please hold. Um, they're sending myself two participants. Additional participant. Well, since... Oh, I don't need Gwen in this. I was going to say, she... since Gwen's there with you. Right. So I would cast this at... 6th level. Oh! Well, I was trying to 
get both of them in the thing, but do I just need to tuck? Yeah, I'll just tuck in one of them. Um, so I'm going to cast Overt's Grave Sending at fifth. Okay. Oh. I call! And... Arabelle. You immediately get a, a, a headache because it bounced off the walls of the interdimensional space. I thought she did good with her roll. There's a 5% chance that it will not work. Does it that 95 in time? Yeah. That's how it always works. Because it's 95% chance that it works, right? Mm, let me look. I didn't know it was 5%, by the way. I thought it was 50. So, oh, regardless. No, no. I mean, like, I thought it was, you always wanted to roll low to get the percentage. I don't know. Nope, it just says there is a 5% chance the message doesn't arrive. Doesn't arrive. Yes. Right, but that means there's a 95% chance that it does. Yep. So 1 through 95 would be yes, and 5... If I wasn't using the low end as the bad end, yeah. Okay, usually you ask us if it's a choice. We want higher. Oh well. Okay. I open it up and I say, Arabelle, we're okay. Um. Can you do it again? No, I can't. Yeah. So I'm saying these things through this hell, hellish. Um. Well, head. you you know it didn't. It didn't break out of the space. So you okay. would know immediately. But I had asked Tasha to message them because we don't know this. Is right, right. and yeah. Tasha, you're muted. Oh, she's having mic issues. It doesn't seem mm. like it's on the right mic. I tell I tell Gwen it doesn't work. The okay. sending. And on our end, Arabelle had asked Tasha to send, so we were really doing it at the same time. Well, yeah. I don't know because you're because right, we don't know that each other. Right. Are so, okay, Tasha. And we didn't roll a dish, so. Yeah. Uh, um, go ahead and roll percentile. Roll above five. <laughs> oh, but she doesn't have anything to bounce off of. It just won't go through, though. Um, it won't penetrate the extra dimensional space if she gets a low roll. 51. 51. It works. Yeah. Who are you sending to? Zori. Okay. Are you guys okay? I say we rope tricked. We rope tricked. And it's Blue Dragon. Did we see Star? Did we see Starbolt disintegrate? Okay. No, you were already up. We rope tricked. Blue Dragon. Stay away. <laughs> um. What else should I say? I'm not there. I don't Ma mansion. Oh, mansion. Yeah, get in the mansion. So. We should get in the mansion. And wait. How have we seen the um cobalt goblin skirmish yet? Yes. Yeah, how you, far you away? passed that. Okay. But how far away from that would we be? Oh, a couple miles. Well, not a couple Oh, okay, it was we were that far past it when they got into the dragon thing. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm just trying to think of where to tell them to teleport to meet us. Uh, can I teleport from inside the... They have to come out at some... They'll have to come out at some point. We don't know where they are, though. Mm -hmm. so. Yep, they'll have to come out at some point, and they are about 60 feet in the air. 
the game. Right? How long does Rope Trick last? An hour. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. let me check my thing real quick. We can't just mansion. We have to go get them. Yeah. But yeah, so your sending's over, right? Well you can you can mansion and have that set up so we have a place to run to. But well, we want to be closer to you than a mi half a mile away. Uh, but I'm just checking. I'm looking but if you get off. closer, then you will be detected. <laughs> looking for a snack. But we know... That there is a dragon. Where they did not. <laughs> so I can summon Starbolt. You'll know where they are. Summon Starbolt that quickly after... Starbolt dies. Okay. Because we want to get closer because then they only have an hour and then they're going right. to be out. And if the dragon saw them do rope trick, the dragon is probably smart enough to know that his snack is just sitting there waiting. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to be able to get out. Instead, they're going to fall out into a dragon mouth. Hmm. So we need to be close, but, you know, where we can get there, but not kind of attract the dragon. So maybe the Starbolt isn't good yet. Which would be more noticeable, the carpet or the flying horse? Well, the horse may be found. Yeah. Yeah, the carpet is silent. Yeah, so I think we stay on the, you said it would take us, like 20 minutes to get there, right? Uh, 17. Okay. So, we should stop. 10 minutes? Yeah, let's go 10 minutes. And we are both with our eagle eye perception speed, right? You got your goggles and, yep. So we are trying to find a dragon. What is the range of your Dark Knight nice goggles? Well, I know that the goggles are like 60 feet. Uh, whatever the normal is. Um, Probably 60. I think it might be is it shorter for half those. But there's also sound and other things, right? Not just sight that we're looking for this dragon. Right. Jeff, how long does it take to attune an item? An hour. Okay, so as soon as I get in this space, I'm attuning an item. Okay. Let's see. Last oh, racial traits, there we go. 60 feet. 60 feet, okay. Um, how many feet is a mile? 52080. Okay. 5280. Okay. So. If we go. You guys are already half, right? He said 17 minutes, but we've gone. I mean, we're still going now, so. Mm -hmm. We're going 10 minutes. I'm stopping. Because I can, you know, use the find the creature or whatever, but that's only a thousand to be least. Um, hold on, what's the, oh my God. I don't think I can sense dragons. I think that's just the one. The mine's all about to be. Nice exploding. Oh, sometimes these spells are harder to find. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not a spell, it's a... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so we're going... 10 minutes of stopping.
thing and we'll do it. I mean, we're checking the whole time, but let's see if we can see it. Okay. Um, you travel for 10 minutes and no sign of it. Zorath, what are you doing this during this time? Um, there's a window to look out of, right? Mm hmm I'm looking out the window right now. Is there? Can I see him? Yeah. Is he just like about every thirty seconds you see him pass beneath where the rope was? Does he look up where the rope is? Where the rope was, or did he just see us disappear? I will roll my percentile or whatever I need to check. Just to make a perception check. 15 and 7, 22. Oh, okay. 12. 15 and 7, 22. Okay. Um, not necessarily looking up, but you notice that as he flies under, he... Like pivots so one of his eyes is looking down and one is looking up you have to get super close you can't do that we're gonna have to go a little bit closer okay as Gwen is attuning what does attuning require an hour. Focusing on the object. Yeah. Right. Like silently. Like you're like, I don't think you're having a conversation during the No. No. Alright. We'll move another. So we have. Um, more, than, more than half. Okay. So. 17 minutes represented a mile. 17 right. and a half represented a mile. And we were still moving before the 17 started. Right. So. So. Uh, we'll move another three minutes. Okay. So you're about three and a half minutes out. Okay. Any sign of movement? Not that you're able to make out. It's dark now. So. Uh. And your ability to see in the dark extends 60 feet. I do have a question. Yes, ma'am. Did I see the dragon? Yeah, you looked at it through your spyglass. No, she didn't spot it. You did. No, you didn't see the dragon. But you just saw it looking out. Yes, you've, you've now seen it flying beneath the rope trick. Right. So, is it as big as Mother Tossa? No. Because she is technically an ancient dragon, correct? Correct. So at least it's not an ancient dragon. Um, this, okay, I would give you a chance with this. Make an arcana check. Mm. You specifically could could figure this out. Crickety crack it crack is. Crickety crack it. Okay, please hold. With arcana? My arcana's like shit. Oh, my arcana's plus eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. <laughs> You think on all that you've learned about dragons, and you know that uh, the golds are the largest. Mm -hmm. And um, that looks to be about the same size as um, the dragon that helped ferry you to Strathsimmons. 
That was an adult copper dragon. This dragon appears to be about the same size. Okay. So the dragon that took us to Slayer again? Strassmus. Uh, and he went on the younger side of the dragon. Is that the, the one that we fell off of? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Or I did. Yeah. 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 One of them did. Somebody fell well, off. he was he was kind of in the middle. He was he was an adult. He was a young adult, but he was an adult-sized dragon. Okay. And immediately you sense mm. several hundred yards off still, but you can follow its movements and it appears to be sort of flying back and forth. Which makes me think it's circling where they're at. Another question. Yeah. I'm Finding his pattern. Is it consistent? No. Is it approximate? In between 30 and 45 seconds, he appears to be not flying a consistent pattern, so sometimes it takes him a little bit longer to wheel around. And he's mm -hmm. coming from all different directions. Mm -hmm. And there doesn't seem to be a pattern to that that you're able to discern. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I tell Tasha that I located the dragon and it's within a couple hundred feet. And that it seems to be circling in a certain location, which makes me think that's where they went up into the rope trick. Mm-hmm. That's a fair... I can probably figure that out, right? Mm, that's a pretty... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, because you can sense that it isn't it isn't getting a whole lot closer or further away. It varies a little. That's just kind of... Yeah. So... We can drop the mansion here. But if, when that thing runs out... We'll have to, it's going to be there. If, if we, we're either going to have to fight it, because they're not going to be able to teleport until they're out of it. And that'll be a, who won, them or the dragon, right? So, yeah, do that. we prepare for combat? I think we should prepare, prepare for combat. Okay. I think we should use, do you have ranged weapons? Um, I have ranged spells. Okay. What range that can bolt 120 feet. Huh. So I think we should land and I should pull out Star Bolt. Because at least he's faster. Mm -hmm. And then we can figure out what we need to do. Um. <laughs> Oh, and I can use distance spells now. I might not have been able to do that twice, so I can actually double the range too. So I can do that twice at two points. How far away do you think he is? Because a couple hundred feet, in my sense. Okay. This uh, lasts an hour, uh, so a hundred feet or a thousand. Well, a couple feet. hundred oh, yards. Oh, a couple hundred yards. Yeah. So probably okay. between five and six hundred feet. We'll have to get a little closer, but I think we wait till we're close to the hour for them. Okay. Or they would communicate with them and have them come down earlier because he's probably waiting for the hour. Right. So my short bow does 80 feet or 320 feet. What does that mean, babe? Uh, 320 feet would be you'd fire at disadvantage. Okay. 
and we can't see him because it's dark. Right. But my Eldritch Blast is 240 feet. Okay. Um. No. Electrical. Who's electric? I think. Yeah. I'm fire. Is it cold or electric? I think it's electric. Huh? Yeah, red is. Uh, white is cold. Oh, white is cold. Blue is electric. You would think that white would be. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah. And red is fire. Green yeah. is poison, right? Or acid or something. Black yeah. is acid, green is poison. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm like so I have fireball, but that's only 150 feet. Um, I think we will, when they're ready, I think we cause a distraction so they can get out. And we will strafe the dragon on Starbolt, and I will throw daylight so we can see it. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Starbolt is fast. I would already got electrocuted once, so. Um, Alright, so we land and I cast uh, Greater Seed. Greater what? Greater Seed can summon Star Wars. Oh, okay. okay. So the fourth level is my episode. Uh -uh. Mistress, there is a dragon. <laughs> Are you a well, okay, but. Oh. Okay. I was discorporated. I'm so sorry. We have to go back. The others are trapped mm. by the dragon, so we need to... I did notice they disappeared from my back, and then I was here. The dragon. They can see down. Right. So when they see light, that's when they should come out. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So. But uh, keep in mind, they are currently their window is currently sixty feet above the ground. Yes, but daylight has a sixty foot range of bright light and then dim light for another sixty. So right, but all I'm saying is they're gonna come out and then what? Oh, yeah. Sorry, can teleport them to the ground, or you have flying boots and she's got wings. Mm-hmm. So. And I've been attuning them for the last hour. <laughs> So they should be able to get down to where we have ground. Okay. We fought. All right. So. Hot dragons with as few of people. Um. Because mm. we had all the people on the. Uh, or the option is we teleport as soon as you get to us. Keep in mind, you're talking about. You, you, have, you have two different plans going on, and neither side knows the other one's plan. Right. Well, she's going to do ascending. Okay. We're just figuring out what to send her. Right. Okay. Yes. So do you think we should fight this thing, or do you think we should just run away? So... I.e. I, teleport. I think there's two answers there. I think I, I think we should fight it, but Zori's not going to want to. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Am I wrong? Huh? 
you can get? You don't know. I don't. Um, so we have fought a dragon before. <laughs> Lots of times. But we have not fought one with just the four of us. But it has been a long time. It has. It's much more powerful than we were. Okay. That, that does not necessarily mean... Can I make a wisdom check, Jeff? It's more wisdom than intelligence, right? Um, what are you trying to figure out? How likely it is that we can survive. Is it wise for us to get into a fight with this you, dragon? You, you don't have enough information to make that decision. Because right. you don't know what this particular dragon is capable of. You know... Uh, well, yeah, the, you, you right now, you and Tasha have no clue. You know it's a dragon. Well, sir, well, what color dragon was it? Uh, uh, blue. And it was a blue dragon, and how large was it? Uh, much bigger than me. So it's an, blue it's dragon. an adult blue dragon. Did you guys manage or did no. you just keep going? We're on the ground right now, a couple hundred yards away. Oh, uh, okay. How much time do we have before the hour is up? Uh, probably about another 40 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I think we should teleport away. Because we don't know really how big this dragon is. And how hungry it is. We know it's evil. In the desert is probably hungry. A lot of stuff. Right, all he's got to eat is zombies. Let him eat in the mansion. <laughs> I don't I'll think that's free food. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work out. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna be a very solid snack. Maybe if we offer him more food. I would just like to point out that you would have to invite him the dragon into the mansion for him to be able to eat the food because you can't take the food out of the mansion. Right, but we don't have to go in with the dragon. <laughs> just let oh, him eat the dragon. Oh, no. Just let him eat. What's no. the dragon? Why? The dragon, the mansion is a, a temporary thing. It would be the same you cast at the next time. Dear, Dear heart, <laughs> this dragon is evil. <laughs> but he's hungry. We don't negotiate with terrorists. We don't yep. negotiate with evil dragons. No. But he is the enemy of our dragons too. Right. So, ooh, good plan. The dragons don't like dragons. So I think we should fight it, but we should call uh, Gago. She's pregnant, but I don't know if she'd get there in time. I mean, we have good. forty minutes. Oh. Right. And Mother you'll tell us. has gated to us. Oh, she sure has. And when just, you were in the mansion. Right, but we can talk the mansion. But Zori can talk to her. Mm -hmm. All right. Have Tasha send Zori a message and she's got the orb to talk to Gago and she's got the at will to talk to Mother Tasha. I don't have the orb. Tasha's got the orb. Oh, Tasha, you have the orb. For Gago. Okay. Let's call Gago and see what she recommends. I get out the orb. Okay. And that's unlimited talk to him from. It's in it is not. Tag. It just lets her use sending. It is not. It lets you cast magical communication through her lair wards. But she also has Obreath spared in sending, but that's a big one, so I don't know if she wants to do that. So, alright, so I get out the orb. Okay. And I cast over Spray Ascending. Okay. I would. To Gago. Okay. Hi, Gago. Hope everything's going okay with the baby. <laughs> well, hello there. It has been some time. Yes, everything is going fine. I'm... I don't remember the correct phrase, but essentially I'm nesting. It, the egg has reached the stage where it needs to stay warm and 
Okay. So I'm on it. Mm-hmm. Blue dragon encroaching in her desert. Oh, oh, I'm a bit of a pickle. I'm a pickle. <laughs> We're in the desert. And... We've been attacked by a blue dragon. Ooh, those are nasty. And... Uh, right now, the dragon is circling Zuri and Gwen, who have rope tricked. Oh, so they're in an extra dimensional space. Yes. Were they on the ground? No. Oh, that's a bit less good. And so I was hoping you could give me some tips. Dodge. Okay. Blues breathe lightning, which, if caught in the bolt, is very painful, but it is only a single bolt, a single direction, only about three to five feet wide, so if you're not in the path of the bolt, blues, I think, are weaker in that they don't have a cone effect to their breath. Hmm. Not a thumb. Where were you... I'm trying to picture where you would be. Where were you coming from and where are you headed? Well, we... We were at the Oasis and we were headed toward the Jagravanan Temple. Oh. Oh, that's not my section of the desert. Ah, I see. Oh. Oh, okay. Do you know the dragon that I, I'm referring to? That might be... Merkinth? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Well, how old? How big? Did you see? I didn't. Um, we think he's an adult dragon? Oh, it wouldn't be Merkinth then. Medicant oh. was ancient when I was last here. That could be a spawn. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, certainly we can survive a fight with it. Do you think we could survive a fight with it? If you keep out of its reach and are able to avoid its breath, likely. We just need to keep keep spread at different points within thirty feet of my protection. All right. It doesn't do a cone. Right. It doesn't do a cone. Single bolts. All right. Well. Um. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. And communication. Oh, oh yes? Aralakis says good luck as well. Yeah? Yes. I'm asking Tasha to relay that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. We didn't do that. Good to know he's back. Alright. Out. Okay. okay. So, if it can only do a single bolt, then we kind of want to fan out around it but stay within 30 feet of each other so that like, we can heal and stuff. But we don't want to be next to each other. Well, well yeah. yes. Yeah, so like a, a square circle. Like a, a triangle with Arabella in the middle. Okay. Hm. I was thinking more of a circle. So that would only put us... That'd be 30 across, right? And then... I don't know. Like, yeah, and then like we'd have to like say, okay, after each turn you move, like you rotate a little bit so we're not in the same spot. Okay. So in 25 words, we have to tell them what we're going to do. <sighs> um... Or she could cast Greater Sending again. That's another 5th level, and I feel like you're going to need that in this fight. Mm-hmm. 
So, because you can do one sending from the loot, right? Oh, right. Is that right? I don't know. Hold on a second. Or is that something else from the loot? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dawson. 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 It would show up thing on here. Mm-hmm. Spells, if it was theirs. Mm-hmm. No, 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 it doesn't, because those are all protection from poison, protection from oh, okay. evil and good. So, levitate and mm-hmm. no, nope, nobody, nope. Diego says single fire only. We will strafe the dragon for distraction. Watch for light signal. Be ready to fight. It's 20. What else did we say? What else do you think? I mean, we're just, we're, we're crafting the message. How are we find you? I mean, like, you're still far away from us, so be ready to yeah. fight. Tasha, Tasha asks, are you pooping? No. Watch for our, we're gonna straight the dragon and watch for our signal of light. Like right. Our light signal. Mm hmm. Be ready to fight. I won't know, okay? You wouldn't know what that meant? Well, I'm assuming Zora would. Like. Okay. So we could say, watch for signal, come out, or come out when you see the light, be ready to fight. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I send that message. Okay. You send it to Gwen or I Sophie? send it to Zori. <laughs> you can reply. <laughs> well, actually, Tasha, roll percentile. Ah, uh, Okay. Zoroth, you received that message. You can reply. And you would tell them that I'm attuning. attuning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Gwen attuning boots. Do I know approximately how much time we have left in the... Um... Well, you would know it lasts an hour. Mm-hmm. Right, so I wouldn't approximately know how much time we've got left, right? Yeah. However many minutes left, 40 minutes left. Yep. Um, we'll drop to ground, like immediately under us is what I'm hoping that we'll know. Um, you can cast spells out of the hole though, can't you? I don't think so. Oh, well, well, I mean, your head out. Yeah, I'd, like reach something out. And yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. the thing's gonna end like thirty seconds before her attunement is done, right? Like it took an hour to attune, and it was an hour from when she cast it. It's gonna be around. Yeah. So she's gonna be attuning for six seconds while she's. Attuning while she's got them on, and then she'll start flying after six seconds, probably. Yep, so she'll right. fall for a round. Right. So I'm just wondering if you can no. cast... Oh, she will! You can cast some kind of spark as soon as it... Signal to us when the thing is... When you guys start falling, I guess. Okay, so I... Gwen attuning boots. We'll fall to ground in 40 minutes. We'll vamp wings to catch Gwen. Fuck! Ain't that. You're all on your own. <laughs> This is like the my greatest hate, hate, hate. Um, devil hate. Loathe entirely. Okay. Uh, 
Um. 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 A lot of um stuff we're not close to. No, that's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Um. Hey, I get born as Eldritch Blast, not free. Um. When on ground. Oh no! See. No. Hold on. Don't. That's not a thing. She's crafting the message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time out. Something I want to have asked before this started. When mother when 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 mother Tasha finds us, she can only find us when we're in the mansion, is that correct? She can only gate. Or she's only gated to us in the mansion. Gate is plain to plain. So she can gate to the rope trick just as easily as the mansion, but that wouldn't fit her, right? Well, if she came in human form. If she came in human form. Oh, she couldn't. Oh, but she could. She can't brain this right now. Um. Okay. Well, maybe because it's a dragon, they might be willing to come out, but otherwise. Well, also, we're in trouble. Real time. Okay, okay, okay. So I had five and four. Um. We'll contact Tasha. Ask opinion. Okay. Okay, I'm fighting. So, Tasha. Yes. We, I shared with her immediately when Starbolt disappeared. So I said, he's gone. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. So, can you tell when, how long it's been since then? Yeah, she knows exactly yeah. how long. Okay. At this point, it's been 27 minutes, 18 seconds. So, when we get to 55 minutes is when we should start heading that way. So, we've okay. 100. He goes 90. Per, well, per round, right? So, we actually, yeah. So, we'll move a little bit and then wait I don't know what a dragon's dark vision is, but we can wait 200 feet out. That's a fine question. So we'll wait. No so looking minutes. it up. No, I don't have any. My thing's over there. So five minutes out, we will go, and I can sense where it is, because that's also an hour. 200 feet. We should it. have, like, a anyway. special dragon ability, like it's dragon lore or something. Like There's some feats for that. Can I rule Arcana? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. My Arcana. I don't know. <laughs> not that good, probably. Ah, plus six. Not horrible. Okay. Okay. You know they can see in the dark. You know they can see in the dark for some great distance, but exactly what that distance is, you are not knowledgeable. Dude, that's annoying. We know all these dragons and we don't know that. Nope. Alright, so we're waiting whatever many minutes that is. Take it away. <laughs> in the meantime, as soon as I hear from them, mm -hmm. Well, you're okay. not there. I'm uh, talking about Tasha, and I've right. started rattling off a, a whole lot of shit. Uh, hi, by the way. Um, we are in a rope trick. Uh, 16 feet in the air, and there is an ancient blue dragon in the thing. What should we do? Should we just try to kill it? Or do you 
any help us or the dragon dragons or and I'm just like babbling. <laughs> Calm down, dear. Calm down. Okay. It's just one dragon against four mithril sept creatures. I would hope that the four of you would be more than sufficient to take down one measly blue. And if it's ancient? Then it will take slightly longer. <laughs> I'm saying we are powerful. I know. And I know what Gwen, Gwen would say too if she were able to not be attuning. Okay. You know, I assume, how they breathe. Um, lightning. Yes, straight bolts. Straight bolts. So there is no peripheral damage. You're either in the path of the bolt, or you're not struck by a blue's breath weapon. Mm -hmm. That makes them noticeably inferior. <laughs> I giggle. But if in fact it is an ancient dragon, be on your toes, for it will attack with every part of its body. Claws, its fangs, its wings, its tail. Does it have any... Does it have any weaknesses? If it's blue. Pride. <laughs> Immunity. Sorry. Well, as a creature of lightning, it ignores all electrical attacks. Right, electrical, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But otherwise, only usually an overweening pride. I don't know how to use that to my advantage. Oh, maybe I do. Hmm. Means they can be goaded. Mm-hmm. Hmm, okay. Well, um... I guess we'll contact you if we're alive, so... I don't know why. I have faith in you. Hey, I've been having some itchy feelings lately. Just in general, I haven't talked to anybody about I don't feel a little weird. How so? Itchy. Um Um Hold on, let me see here. How, how, let's find out how. Let me find out how here. Please hold. And we have time to talk because <laughs> we got 40 minutes. Right. Even 30 minutes. Um. Oh my lord. <laughs> you never have to talk to that. No, I never get to send it back to Mother Chelsea usually. But, um, okay. So, I, um... My wings have been itchy at the spot where they attach. I have noticed that when I write, sometimes I get kind of really sharp things. And then I like concentrate and they go away. Um, I've kind of belched fire a little bit. I don't, nobody's noticed. Um, I kind of don't know what's going on. Well, it sounds as if the last elements of your uh, dragon blood are coming in. 
my last elements of dragons Blood, um more so than just the wings and the speaking and the yes yes there is one more element that historically has appeared okay i'm ready to find out what that is well, it's not, it's not fire breath, so I would definitely see someone about that. Uh, okay. <laughs> you should get that checked. <laughs> I didn't know it wasn't a thing. Aren't I a fire dragon? I, aren't I? Oh, I'm not a fire dragon, but... Okay. <laughs> as you... She's fire, right? As you mature, as... A draconic kin, you will begin to emit the same aura that we carry, in that you will be able to choose whether those around you perceive you as desirable or frightening. They will either view you as someone they want to befriend or someone they desire to flee from. <sighs> this will be an ability that you can call up consciously. It will require some of your sorceress essence. but you will be able to create that same aura of awe or fear that we full dragons are capable of. Hmm. Okay. Um, in the aura of fright. Basically, in game terms, it's either fear or charm. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. But that comes okay. in at level 18. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, I also, uh, feel like I have something that is available to me in a some form. Um, that I have not learned yet. What rank of spells are you capable of casting at this point? <laughs> That's the one. Uh, night. Ah. Hmm. Perhaps you should speak to your friend Aralakis. Okay. There okay. is a spell, but I fear that I do not have time to teach it to you at the moment. Mm, okay. But this spell is known to Aralakis. It is the spell he used to spend time in Draco form with Gago before he discovered <laughs> his true nature. Mm. Okay. Gosh. Okay. I'm certain that he will emerge triumphant. Okay! And remember, somewhere, this dragon has a lair. If you are capable of defeating it, you must attempt to find that lair and add it to your own. No! <laughs> No. No, now I have a thought. I have a thought now. I have a thought now. Okay. 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 Um, thank you. I know we only call you when we're in trouble, but I really appreciate all the things that you do for us. 
Well, it is my pleasure to be the sponsor of the Mithril set. It's a bit in the job description, dear. I know, but they have more confidence in us than I do, and I'm always worried that we're going to die, and I don't want us to die because I love them. Then fight. You will win. Okay. It's just a blue. It's just a blue. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. You as well. And I sign off. And Gwen is still doing her thing, so now I have all this knowledge in my head. And you will not have time to share it. You nope. You have time to share it. All right. So, five minutes till... Five minutes to air. Literally. Yeah. Okay. Get closer. Okay. You are... 200 feet out. All right. So... At this point... Um, both of you make a perception check. Oh, yes, my advantage. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> I'll well, take that. A 19 is a too bad on Uh, 34. Okay. 28. Okay. Both Roma. of you catch a brief glimpse of moonlight off dragon wing. Hmm. And this perfectly syncs up, Arabelle, with where you're magically able to sense the dragon. So, that's it. So, I whisper very quietly to Tasha that when it's time, well, when I cast the dragon, I'll cast the spell, and then I will kind of circle around and drop you off, and then move away from you so that we're not close to I, I tap your your shoulder like yes. Two is yes. So two hundred feet ish mm -hmm. at ninety feet per round. Yeah, and that's two rounds to get within twenty feet of the thing. Okay. So that's twelve seconds. Mm-hmm. She cast it around, probably before Starbolt, or the same round Starbolt got disintegrated, but none of that. So, 30 seconds before we should move. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Tasha tells you the countdown. Concentration. One minute, 50 seconds. I have one question. Yeah. Can I, it's, you choose a point on an object you're holding or one that isn't being worn or carried. Can I cast it on the dragon since he's not being worn or he's not, his skin is not, right? I mean, like, can I cast it on him? Um, uh, you can try. But what about the shield? What are you trying to cast? Daylight. Daylight. Oh, oh no, because we won't be out. Okay, fine. Probably, it's still an object, so probably not a person. Just a point on an object you're holding or one that isn't being here. Okay, so, but I can cast it, like, on a coin and drop the coin. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I pull out a coin. Copper piece, and when it's 30 seconds, we will start. All right. 40 seconds. 30 seconds. All right. We are moving towards the dragon. Okay. We are falling. Not yet. Oh, okay. We're a couple of seconds to go around. 20 seconds. 10 seconds. I grab Zori. I'm still concentrating. And oh, the spell ends. And you are falling. Stand right. by my wing. Stay okay. right and drop. Okay. Gwen, I need you to make a concentration check. 
it's a con save. Um, but if I'm if I'm holding her, it shouldn't interrupt our falling. No, but it's still okay. okay. And I also need to expect it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. You can um, eighteen. Yeah, no problem. All right, so everybody, I need you to roll initiative again. Shouldn't have taken so long to get around. Oh, I get advantage? Yeah. Oh, he's not. 32. <gasps> I, have it, I have advantage on an ish. I know. You do. I normally do with my shield, but my ish bonus is one, so it oh. really doesn't. I'm sorry, I love. <laughs> it's a matter of always last. Um, <laughs> Zorith? 21. 21. Uh, Arabelle? Nine! Oh, my and baby. Starbolt? He can't fight. Well, if, he's, if I'm on him, I think he goes to go with me. Yes. Okay. So if I'm not, if I jump off of him, oh, he also goes back. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So, um, the spell has ended. This is the first round. So, Gwen, you are continuing to concentrate for this round. Right. So, that's your... That's your turn for this round. Okay. Uh, Tasha. Oh. You are up next. Mm. I cast Eldritch Blast. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 27. Okay. 30. Okay. You get oh. four, remember? Yep, I do. Four is damage overall. Thanks. Okay, all four hit. Okay. I don't know what its name is because you guys didn't tell us. <laughs> we don't know if that's his name or not. You didn't tell me anyway, so it's none of you. It's okay. I was just want to ask what it was that we she told us Merikath or something. Yeah, Merikath. Merikath. No, Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Marrakesh Express. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> While she's rolling damage, real quick, Jeff. Did as part of the casting and finishing the movement, did I already drop her with that? As part of that. Or is she still on starboard? No, I think okay. you've already dropped her. Okay, that's why I just wanted to make sure, and so then I'm moving away from her. Right. Are you staying in the ground, or are you going airborne? Um, I have not taken, yeah, I'm still on, we're still in the, slightly above the ground, because it's faster to, I think I might stay on him, because I can move faster. Okay. 30 points. I move 90. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the creature... And then I dodge. The creature roars um, and spins around, having not seen you initially. Ooh, so was that a surprise attack? No. No. No, it was prepared for combat. It just That's wasn't prepared us. for combat from that particular direction. It's right now diving after Gwen and Zora. She probably would have had flanking advantage, but she didn't need it. All right. All right. right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Zora, you are flying with Gwen hugging your waist. Did he now look away? Oh, no, he's still looking at us. Yeah. That's right. At the dragon lady flying. Well, no, they're just, they're with just gold dragon wings. Yeah, that's not good. And everything's lit up, though. We can, everybody can see. Like Christmas. Did he react to the light when we dropped? Hmm. <laughs> not really. It happened below, mostly below him. So, so where is my fucking spell? I can't see it. 
I can't do this now! <laughs> I can't! I'm panicked. It's okay, great. No, where is my stuff? How far are we off the ground? Uh, 60 feet. Well, probably about 55 feet. Because you would have, you know, fallen about 5 feet getting everything in place. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So about 55 feet off the ground. Mm -hmm. And it's barreling right towards you. Uh huh. Uh huh. I cast Misty Step. I let us fall for one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Hmm. How far? How far? Do, how fast are we falling? Well, your wings are out, so you're gliding. Oh. Did you gliding. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I did. So you're gliding. Although so, you are descending faster than normal because you've got more weight. Okay, correct. So I'm going to... Is that my movement? Yes. Yeah, that would be to fly. Oh, but then I, I can't get to the ground by... Do you understand what I'm asking? 30 feet is my walking speed. Mm-hmm. What's your flying speed? Uh, it's... Her walking or speed. gliding oh, speed. I was gonna say, oh my god, I don't even know. It's so cool. No, but like if we're falling, I bounce out my wings, and I. Mm, we can be going faster than thirty. Right. What are we going faster than thirty? Well, as gliding, kind of. Fall gliding with like, the extra and, weight. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. And about another. If you're going, if you're gliding down, mm -hmm. uh, about 40 feet this round. Use your action to double your movement. And then you can use your bonus action to take an action. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to double my action, fly her to the ground, set her down gently. And then use... A quicken spell slot to cast Misty Step. Cast Misty Step. Okay. And go where are you going? 30 feet from her. No. 20, 20 feet from her. In a different direction. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do for now. Okay. We're no longer in the air, we're distanced from each other, so we can't get us at least both. I mean, like, as far as I know, like, I don't know. So. That's the best I can do right now. Alright. Uh, wait, okay. Would, um, would I know how much fire I could breathe? Does that matter to have to breathe fire? Yes, but you can't. Uh, right? Not but now. would I not know from... An arcana check, perhaps? How much fire, like, their thing? Oh, that's how, how far he can shoot lightning. Right. Would I know? You can roll arcana, but it's going to be a very high difficulty class. Well, it was 13 plus 8, so 21. Nope. You know it's 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 uh, an extensive bolt, but you're not exactly sure what the length is, what the the extent of it would be. I'm probably gonna go up 25 feet away from her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 25. Okay. Uh, and she okay. should her. I don't even know. I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry. And you puff using Misty Step, and the dragon quickly looks around and sees you and dives that direction. Legendary action. And then it attacks. Eek. So let's see. Um, what is your armor class currently? Okay. Oh, 
is it on your left wing? Uh, can armor. you see the other armor? It, uh, uh, none. Okay, then never mind. I need you to make two dex, or no, just one dex saving throw. And I've been watching it as I'm falling. I am going to use protective wings. You don't have any action, unless it's a bonus or a reaction. Yeah. When another creature you see within five feet of you is hit by an attack, you can use your reaction to gain a plus six bonus to the target's AC against that attack roll, potentially causing it to miss. You can use this reaction six times for a long rest. Can yeah. I, like... You can't do it for yourself. You can only do it for other people. Of course. This is, like, protecting others. Yeah, I know, I know. I was hoping. So... I was hoping. You just... Uh, no. Dex, I mean, isn't she kind save. of protecting... No. What? Dex save, please. No, no. Uh, Annette, what'd you say? What? Doesn't she have Gwen? No, she so, set Gwen down. Oh, all right. Well then. And then Missy it. stepped away. <sighs> all right. Woof and woof. Um, what are these? A deck save. Twelve. And. Uh, just one. Just one deck save. Oh. Yeah. So, well, you said two. I know. I misspoke. Oh then I need one to do one again. I get an 18. I get an 8 and a 16, but apparently we're just using the 8. So 12. of all, I also need you to make a wisdom... I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that I got a natural kraken for. Ha! Is this a spell or magical effect? It is a magical effect. Okay. Oh, oh that one. I get it. Which kind is this? What? Uh, oh, I get a a wisdom saving throw. Magical throw. All right. But also, I just got a kraken, so I got a 21 anyway. So, that's as high as I can get. 22. 25. 14. 22. Oh, Jesus. 21. Okay. okay. All of you are able to harden your will and dismiss the dragon's frightful presence. Um, the dragon swoops down on Zorath and bites her, claws her twice, mm -hmm. smashes her with its tail, mm -hmm. and then wing buffets, knocking you prone. Mm -hmm. The total is 49 points of damage. Ow. As a reaction. That's okay. We're just here for your lair, and we know where it's at. 
All right, this is gonna require a roll. Um, this is a deception check. Hmm. 26. 16 plus 10. And then as I'm, I'm crouching in pain, Um, no, no, no. Um, we'll get your. Oh, okay. Uh, we know where your lair is at. And then I'm gonna like watch him. I'm going to <laughs> You lie. Hmm. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Arabelle and Starbolt. Does he look in a particular direction when he says you lie? Yes. Do I see it? Yes. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so, um, Starbolt is going to fly me to him. So I do movement and then movement, right? Okay. So I'm going to attack him twice with my sword. And then I'm going to Bounces off its hide. Mm, this is gonna suck. <laughs> uh, 25 for the second. That gets through its scales. You got it? You need me to get some? I need six eights. Six eights. A couple. Eights. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do that again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Job. Okay. And then when I land, I'm gonna use my two meta magic or sorcery points to quicken aura of vitality and cast that. Okay. That is my turn. All right. Then here we go, round two. Gwen. Are my boots attuned they now? They are. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cast Summon Elemental at 4th level. 
Okay. And I'm going to specifically summon an air elemental. Okay. And order it to attack the dragon. All right. Uh, it will go on your initiative, so. Okay. Um, it doesn't go until my next finish. No, it. I think it goes now. Yeah, I was going to say, it goes after me, so yeah. as soon as my turn is up. Um, let's see if there's anything else. And I'm going to set the, the dragon as my favored foe. Okay. Um... I think that's all I can do this time. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for right now. All right. Well, then the air elemental goes at 31. Okay. So it goes now? Mm hmm Excellent. All right, it attacks. Okay, go ahead and roll. Let's see, it gets two attacks. Um... And it can fly. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, what? how far is it from the dragon? Uh, let's see... Yeah, it can get there. Okay. It's got 40 foot movement, so it can get to the dragon. Okay. Alright, so its first attack um, is a crit? If I guess we don't do that in, in fifth. Um, yeah. Oh, we do? Yeah. Oh, yay, then it is. Um, so roll the damage die twice and then add your bonuses. Okay. Which would be, I believe, plus seven? No, plus eight. Because you cast it at fourth level. Yeah. So. All right. So I'm trying to figure out what its damage. It's bludgeoning. Um, um, is that is that the slam action? Mm-hmm. Uh, spell attack modifier to hit. Um, is it 1d10 plus 4 plus the spell's level? Yes, and since you cast it at 4th, it's 1d10 plus 8. Or in this case, because it's a crit, 2d10 plus 8. Okay. Okay, so... 23. Bludgeoning damage. Okay, that's the first hit. Okay. And the second one is... I don't know, is only a 20 a crit? Yes. Okay. Um, so I rolled a 19. I don't know what... You add I your add. spell attack modifier. Spell attack. Okay, so that is a 31. That hits. And then it's 1d10 plus 8. 1d10 plus 8. <laughs> I rolled 2, but they both came up the same number. <laughs> 17. Okay. Tasha. How far away is it? Uh, let's see, from you, mm -hmm. probably about 50 feet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try Cone of Gold then. Okay. Okay. Question. Yes. Nope, that's you. Sorry. Okay. 
Yes. Um, what is what is its save? Uh, con 18. Okay. It failed its save, but it uses one of its legendary resistances to make the save, so it takes 14 points of damage. Uh, Zoroth, you're up. He he basically did all this as he as he flew by and he has arced and is coming back around. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna die, so be prepared. Um I look in the direction that he looked and I yell, how 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 does that work? Like, can you yell and then do a thing? Or am I um, doing a thing as, as I'm yelling? If it's more than, like, five words, it takes an action. Okay. Fuck. Okay, well. Alright. Um, I take my action. And I... <laughs> we'll add oh, the oh, last. Oh, what? I'm, I'm, I'm answering your question. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Um. Um, we'll add your, wait, I heard you had a measly horde. We'll add the last Dracolich's teeth and scales to yours when we put it in your lair. And then I cast. That's all right. You already had it. Uh, then I cast. Okay. Um. Um. Sorry. Um. He's not down yet. He's flying, right? Correct. Okay. If I cast it at an angle in the air, mm -hmm. that he's he's already gone, right? No. Oh, oh, he's not gone. So that he's going to fly through, like I can see, even if he comes down at me or whatever. Yep. Is that considered a 60 foot radius centered on a point I choose within range? If you want it to be. Basically, you decide where the center of the spell is and it goes off 60 feet around that. Oh. How high is he up in the air? Uh, about 30 feet. And nobody else is in the air. How close are you? You're not in the air. You are in the air. I'm close to the ground. I mean, we're flying around, but we're not high in the air. Okay. So I'm going to do it. Okay. Like. Okay. Bear with me. Sorry. Um, I'm going to do it. If he's flying, he's going to have, like, maybe 10 feet of fly time before he, like, starts to kind of land, right? I mean, like, I can... If he's landing. In brain. Huh? If he's landing. Okay. Um... Okay. So that's 30 
30 from the center, right? Mm -hmm. And he's about 30 feet up. I'm going to put it... So that more of it's down, so 20 feet from the ground. So that's like, it won't get us, right? So that it's 20 feet. So that's like, what, 40? Yeah. Okay. Aimed towards me, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. to me. Um, sunlight? So it says, brilliant sunlight flashes in a 60-foot radius centered on a point you choose within range. Each creature in that light must make a con saving throw, and I know his con's probably big. Um, on a failed save, they take radiant damage and is blinded for one minute. On a successful save, it takes half as much damage and isn't blinded. Is it called sunlight? Sunburst. Thank you. That's okay, but it says brilliant sunlight flashes, so that's what I that's why I read it. So it's sunburst. Yeah. I explained why I couldn't find it. Yeah. Oh and I clicked him. Yeah, sorry. Obviously. <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> All right. What is? Can also kind of heal me too. What is his uh, difficulty class? It's con what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, hopefully. I know, but I I thought I said it out loud because I read the whole thing. So hold on, please. Oh, con twenty. It's in my thing. Okay. Oh, we're twenty. Yeah, I, I mean, you know. That's good. Isn't con the thing that most people have a lot of? Or is it strength? Strike. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, shoot. Okay, what, what was it? Okay, I don't even know. 12 well, Okay. Okay. Four. Okay, um, I'm gonna steal a. Oh, hey, I'm gonna steal some of these blue ones. How many did I say? 12. 12d6, or. Oh, no, I still roll the 12, and right. then half of it if it goes. Right. And then, shit, I hope it goes. Me too, me too. I'm taking all your d6s. Oh. Okay, so. Well, well, that's why these exist. Yeah, I mean. Oh, look, what's your name? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. We need like a Yahtzee thing. <laughs> I fixed it. Hello, can holders over there. <laughs> right? There you go. Five, six. Four. Two, three. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> oh, it's over here. No, I got to add. <laughs> Bear with me, please. That's what that was. Hmm. It reminded me of Fifth Element. Or they're like trying to get away from the bomb and they're like one, two, three, four, you know. Forty-five? 
All right. It goes off. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe you see if I can do it. Press the button. Oh, hold on. Okay. Twenty-one, eleven, eight, nineteen. Um. Forty-five. Like one point, one minute. Well, I mean, it might later. Forty-five. All right. Well, the dragon snarls and pulls its head back slightly, and then blinking, it continues its dive towards Zorith, and it opens its mouth. Yeah. So. Um, have you, Zorith, need to make a dexterity saving throw. 45, yeah, okay. Dex saving throw, okay, dex. Yes. Alright. 18 plus 4, 22. Okay, you manage to throw yourself out of the way of the direct bolt. So you only take 35 points of damage. Good. <laughs> but then as it flies past, um, it... Oh, pretty! I want to see the teeth! I get to add! It pivots very quickly. Uh, Starbolt and Arabelle. Yes. Yeah. What are we doing? It's your turn. Oh, I thought you meant he was attacking us. No, no, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no. Um, I'm going to choose... Alright, so first I want to... Uh, we're going to fly into combat. Okay. I'm probably just flying, well, I'm not into combat, because I'm flying around him, but probably not. He's a big guy, so I can stay with him without boy. leaving for an attack of opportunity, right? I can move around him. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of fun. So I'm still within my five feet, but just not, like, by his head for... Um, so I'm going to attempt to do a touch attack. Twenty-five. Twenty-five will hit. Okay. And I'm going to use inflict wounds at third level. Okay. Is there a save? No, that's right, because I had to roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. How many points? 29. Okay. And then I'm going to use my bonus action with my aura of vitality to heal Zori for two dice. Okay. <laughs> I got a lot of Oh, nice. Yeah, I got six. So, yeah. so 11 points. You can, I can do that once in a round. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, the dragon comes careening back by, legendary <laughs> actions, uh, okay. tail slap and wing buffet on Zorith. Uh, you need to make a dexterity save. I don't mind. I wanted to go with the dragon, you thought this was a good plan? Well, I, <laughs> I, okay, wait, say, say again, hold on. Dexterity say. save, please. Dex save, okay. So, uh, when she said we can take it. How, um, if I was just attacking it and it's, and it's been attacking Zori, how close am I to Zori? Um, well, let's see. You attacked it where it was, so probably about 15 feet. 15? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, just a dex. Just a dex save. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, okay. Uh, 
and then you don't get knocked prone this time, but you take 34 points of damage. So... Okay. I have to keep doing this. I'll be right back. Are you still up? Barely? Okay. Alright. Top of round three, Gwen. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I believe I have an arrow of slaying that was set to dragon. Is that correct? If that's what you have down. Well, I had two that were specific to a color of dragon and one that doesn't specify. Okay. It just says arrow of slaying. So I'm going to use that one. All right. And I'm going to use my oath bow and whisper to it, swift death to you who have wronged me. And I'm going to fire at the dragon. I dropped my dice. That is a 29 to hit. That will hit. Alright, so... All right. I want to make sure I'm so, doing this right. Yeah, it has to make a saving throw. Okay. Which it makes handily. Motherfucker. So, it, so does that mean I get nothing? Uh, you, well, you get the, the extra damage from the Oath Bow. Okay. And it will take half the extra damage from the Arrow of Slaying. Okay. So give me the Oath Bow damage, like just the, the, the Arrow damage and the Oath Bow bonus damage. Okay. The Oath Bow is D4. I rolled an 8, so that's 12, plus the extra damage it does is 3d6. Right. Uh, that's 11. So that's 23 total, right? Um, math, yes. Okay. Yep. All right, so yes. now go ahead and roll the 6 die 10 for the arrow of slaying. And it will take half of whatever you roll. Okay. And then also, it is my favorite enemy. Mm hmm So there's that as well. Okay. We'll add that in at the end. Okay. So you said 6 d10? Yes. Can I roll 3 twice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, 13, and... Nah, 24. So I said 13 the first time? Mm-hmm. So 37, 36, 18. Yep, okay. And then there's the... Favored enemy. Favored foe. Mm-hmm. Um... Which is another 1d8. And I rolled an 8. Would you like to describe its demise? Yes! yes! Well, the arrow was well, fortunate to go straight into its eyeball. Oof. And then it went for it. And then it went right to the brain pan. Right to the brain pan. Woo-hoo! And it mm -hmm. makes a slow, semi-graceful spiral to snout plant in the desert. And then yes. the rest of its body sort of... You hear its neck snap as <laughs> the body sort of pushes the neck beyond its ability to bend and buries it in a nearby sand dune. Yay! I direct Starbolt to Zori and I immediately light my hands up. 
Okay. I also run to Zuri to make sure she's okay. Not that there's anything I can do, but she oh, is slashed and okay. pierced and burnt. Use all of my lay on hands. Just I grab her hand. Gently. What should healing left for my other. So that got you... You said 80? Eight. Straight 80? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, not 8 slash 0. 8, so we got 80. And then I'm just down 27. Okay, 9. Okay. 8. 7. Um, uh, uh, that takes me to like one... Wait, 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 and then seven more. Yeah. So you're full fine. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I mean I have that thing for right. like, eight rounds. Right. Might as well, use well it. I guess we should look for the lair. Well, first I'm gonna go over to that dragon. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. So and I make sure it's dead and you know loot the corpse. It. Right. So as you oh, as Arabelle oh. heals Zorith and. When Lauren heads to search the dragon, that is where we're going to stop tonight. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> okay, so now I need to run land. What? Oh, 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 good point. Yeah, yeah. But, good job. Sorry has faith in us now. Well, you know. We are a big deal. <laughs> Totally worth using that arrow. <laughs> My God. Yeah, that was an excellent sort of coup de gras. Yeah. So we'll pick this back up right here next time. When you can decide if you wanna, you know, search for the lair, pillage the dragon, whatever. We we have our orders. Yeah, all the things. <laughs> well you guys don't know that yet because she's true. Me. No, but we are supposed to add to our horde. That is true, yeah. but I'll, right. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them what Mother Taco told me. So, we will begin the search for the lair next time. Until then, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate the attention that, and the time you spend with us. We'll be back uh, next week, and hopefully you'll let us welcome you back once more to the lands of Akatha. Good night, everybody.